Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to install and use YITH WooCommerce Points and Rewards plugin. Using this plugin, you can set up points and reward system on your WooCommerce website. You can add points to your customer's account whenever they make purchase on your website. And the user will also be able to redeem these points as rewards and discounts. There are many different scenarios where you can add the points to your customer's account. For example, you can assign points when a user registers to your website, assign points each time the user logs in daily, Assign points when the user completes all the fields in user profile, a referral link sign up, assign points when a user purchases through user's referral link, assign points to the user that collected the most points, assign extra points on customer's birthday. So there are many different scenarios where you can add the points to your customer's account and make them loyal to your website. They will come back to your website. They will make more purchase on your website to get more points and more discount. The price of this plugin is only $139.99 per year for a single website. You will also get 30 days money back guarantee and one year of updates and support. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you another free points and rewards plugin for WooCommerce. This plugin has free as well as premium version. The name of the plugin is points and rewards for WooCommerce Pro. And the price of this plugin is $99 per year for a single website. In another video, I have shown you WP Loyalty free points and rewards plugin for WooCommerce. This plugin also has free as well as premium version and the price of this plugin is only $79 per year for a single website. You can watch these two videos also and then decide which plugin will be better option for your WooCommerce website. I think YITH WooCommerce Points and Rewards plugin has more features as compared to other plugins. However, you can watch the videos and compare the features of all these plugins. So let's see how we can use the YITH WooCommerce Points and Rewards plugin. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. This is a demo WooCommerce website. And I have already downloaded and installed the YITH WooCommerce Points and Rewards Premium Plugin. When you install the plugin in the left hand panel, you will see the option YITH. Let's move the cursor on it and you will see Points and Rewards. Click on it. So this is the dashboard of the Points and Rewards plugin. The first option is Customer Points where it will show the list of customers that you have on your website and how many points they have collected and how many points are redeemed. So this is just the information about the customer's point. Below that you will see points option. If you click on the drop down, you will see different options under points option. The first option is points assignment. Click on it. Now using this option, we will set how to assign and remove points to your customer. The first option is points assignment. Assign the points to user automatically or manually. Here we have selected automatically points will be assigned automatically for each purchase. If you want to select manually, you can select manually and you can assign points manually in customers points tab. So there will be an option in customers account where they can see how many points they have collected. So we are going to select automatically so that whenever the customer make a purchase, they will get points automatically. Whom do you want to assign the points? All users or you can set up on the specific user roles. And if I select this option, you will see different user roles who can collect the points. We are going to select all users. Whoever makes purchase will get point. Default points assigned for each $10, you are going to assign one point. This is what it is set up here. This is the default point setup. We can change that one. Let's say for each $20 spent on your website, customer will get one point. So this is what we are going to set up. Below that we have calculate points considering a unit price or the product subtotal. Here the default option selected is unit price. For each and every product there will be a default point setup. And if you want to set up a points based on the product subtotal in a card then you can select this option. 
So I'm going to keep it on unit price. Calculate points considering the product price with taxes included or excluded. We are going to set up excluded. Assign points to guest if the billing email is registered, which is currently disabled. Assign points to newly registered user if the billing email is registered. You can enable that option. Assign points when the order has the status. Here we have order completed, payment completed and order processing. So these are the statuses when the points will be assigned to the customer's account. You will see different statuses are there, order completed. If you do not want any one of these status, for example, if you do not want order processing status to be used to assign the points, then you can remove it from here. Points removal and exclusion. Exclude on-sale products from points collection, which is disabled. Remove earned points if the order is cancelled. Yes, if the order is cancelled, then we are going to remove the earned points from the customer's account. Reassign points when order is refunded, which is currently disabled. Remove earned points if the order is refunded. If the order is refunded, then we are going to remove the points from the customer's account. Do not assign points to the full order amount if a coupon code is used. So if the customer is using coupon code, then we are not going to assign the points to the full order amount. Do not assign points to orders in which the user is redeeming the points. So if the user is already redeeming the points, then do not assign the points in that order. So if you want that option, you can enable it from here. Allow shop manager to manage this plugin, which is currently disabled. Points rounding off will be round down or round up. You will see the explanation here. If the points are 1.5 and the round and the roundup is selected, then points will be two. If the round down is selected, then points will be one. Set an expiration time for points. Enable if you want to set an expiration time, points assigned to users. So you can set up an expiration for points earned. Let's click on save options. Now below that you will see points rules. So here you can set up different points and rules and we will go through this later extra points we will go through this later let's go to points redeeming option and here you will see points redeeming option now the first option is points redeeming allow users to redeem points so we are going to enable that option so that the customer will be able to redeem the points on the next purchase user that can redeem the points again it is set to all reward conversion method will be fixed price discount or percentage discount currently it is set to fixed price if you select percentage discount you can set up a percentage discount let's say 20 points is equal to 5 percent discount let's set to fixed price discount so for each and every point you can set up some amount that the customer will be able to get for example for each 10 points I want the customer to get a discount of one dollar so one dollar is the price of 10 points or if you want you can make it one point is equal to one dollar so each point they earn will get one dollar discount i'm going to set it to let's say five points is equal to one dollar choose how to calculate the discount when the customer use their available points when redeeming calculate the discount on the product price with the taxes excluded, exclude on sale product, automatically redeem points on cart and checkout pages, redeem both box style is default, we will go through that later, coupons allowed, use only WooCommerce coupons or use only points redemption option and we are going to set up both. If you are using coupons on your WooCommerce website, they will be able to redeem the coupons also. Redeem instructions, apply redeeming instructions, point sharing allow users to convert points into coupon to share so they can share the coupon apply limits to points coupon and set the expiration for points coupon codes so i'm not going to make any changes here let's click on save options below that we have customization and these are the basic customization hide points message to guest users so we are not going to show the points message to the guest user before we go through this let's go to the website and let's see how the website looks go to home page this is a demo woocommerce website and i'm on the home page and here you will see some products are there let's go to this product and on this product you will see this message 
purchase this item and get one point worth 0 0.20 the price of this product is 39 dollars and 99 cents and in the setting we have the points let's go to points assignment for each 20 dollars we are going to assign one point let's make it for each 10 dollars we are going to assign one point let's save this option and i'll show you the change here now let's refresh this page and now you will see for 39 dollars and 99 cents now they will get three points it is not 40 dollars that is why it is rounded down to three points and it is worth 0.6 dollars if i change it to round up then it will become four dollars let's make it round up save the options and let's refresh it now you will see purchase this item and get four points a worth of 0 0.80 so if they make a purchase of this product they will get 0 0.80 dollars discount on their next purchase let's go to shop and uh, let's go to this product here the price of this product is 22.99 and they will get three points let's go back to shop on the shop page it is not showing any point system so let's enable that one let's go to customization option here and here you will see points in shop pages let's enable this option and it will show the points on the shop page also let's save the option and let's refresh the page and now you will see on the shop page it is showing the points that you can earn for each product this is the product $39.99 and you will get four points on the purchase of this product for this product you will get three points for this product you will get three points so it is now showing all the points on the shop page also uh, this is the customization you can change the color background border now this is on the single product page where do you want to show the message if i go to single product page you will see this message is before add to cart button and you will see that setting here before add to cart button if you want it after add to cart you can select after add to cart before excerpt after excerpt or after product meta so these are the positions where you can set up the message on the single product page and this is the content which is shown here purchase this item and get the points you will see it here get the number of points and it also shows the conversion price discount conversion these are the basic style settings now points in my account do you want to show the points in my account section of the customer if I go to shop page, go to my account and you will see an option here, my points. This is added on the customer's dashboard. So the customer will be able to see how many points they have earned and how many points are redeemed. Let's go back. You will see the label, my points, show the points value, show points in my account, show points in email, show points in card page. So this is going to show the points in the card page also and message text in checkout this will be shown on the checkout page and these are the label settings you can change the label settings so it is very easy to customize it let's click on save options next to that you will see emails option let's go to emails and from here you can customize the email that will be sent to the customer whenever there are changes in the points or if there are points expiring or updated points all right now let's go back to the shop page and let's add some products in the cart let's add this product to the cart let's add one more so we have got two products in the cart let's go to a view cart and on the cart page you will see this message if you proceed to checkout you will earn seven points so that message is also shown on the cart page let's proceed to checkout and you will see the same message on the checkout page also so if i make a purchase of these products seven points will be added to my account and i can use those points to redeem in the next order so let's go back to dashboard and go to points option under that you will see points rules 
if you want to exclude any product from the point system you can do that also let's say i do not want to assign any points to this product so i can create a rule so let's go back to points rule click on create a rule let's name it as no points and these are the points type assign a fixed amount of points if you want to assign a fixed amount of points to this product you can do that also set a percentage amount of points or set a fixed amount of point based on product prices in this case i do not want to add any point for this product so i'm going to select this option don't assign points from now until it's ended manually or you can schedule a start and end date apply rule to all products specific product on sale product products of specific categories or products of specific tags so if you want to disable point system for a particular category of products then you can select specific category from here we are going to use specific product and we are going to search for the product here so this is the name of the product you can also add multiple products and disable the points for these products apply rule to all users and click on save rule so now the new rule is added and i'm going to let's refresh the page and now you will see there is no point for this particular product if i go to that product page there is no points message on this product so so the customer will not get any points on the purchase of this product so here you can set up different point rules let's go to extra points and these are the scenarios where you can offer points to your customer the first option is assign points when a user register how many points you want to assign you can assign it let's enable this option so if the user is new to your website they can register to your website and get the points assign points each first time the user logs in daily and you can set up number of points here how many points you want to add to your customer's account when they log in to your website daily assign points when the user completes all the fields in the user profile you can change the number of points here a referral link sign up you can create a referral link you need to enable this option and revoke referral points if the referred user account is deleted or banned that is the option you can enable or disable here you can set up the number of points that you want to add to your customer's account when someone signs up using their referral link assign points when a user purchases through user's referral link so here you can set up that number assign points to the user that collected the most points assign points to the user that achieves the level so here you can create levels and add the points to your customer's account assign extra points based on the total number of points collected assign extra points on customer's birthday here change the number of points that you want to add show birthday input field in my account page registration form checkout page assign products to users that leave a product review so if the user leaves a review on the product page then you can assign the points to that user assign points based on the order placed assign points based on the cart total assign points based on the total amount spent so these are different scenarios where you can add extra points to your customers account so it is very easy to set up the points and reward system on your woocommerce website using the yith plugin if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips